subscribe if you haven't already. We're at the 2017 United States Women's Disc Golf Championships, which took place in Johnson City, Tennessee. And Van Dyken and Valerie are at three down. Starting out on hole one, it's 368 feet. First on the tee, we have Sarah Holcomb. And her amazing forehand. Absolutely. Showcasing it right there. Such a beautiful drive. That's a small capitalizes on that <laughs> outstanding drive and brings in the first birdie of the card. See if Sarah can do the same. Really awkward footing there on those rocks. Mm. Mm. Just off the top. See there. The rest of the ladies card in a par. Moving on to hole number two, getting the catch cam footage. So, huge shout out to Ben who came out and filmed with us all weekend. I wanted to ask Sarah what she was listening to while we were filming her, but I was, I don't know, <laughs> I guess too shy. <laughs> <laughs> I do sometimes wonder what they listen to. I know a lot of players on tour do listen to headphones. I don't know, out yeah. fine. Sarah going with a flick. In my opinion, one of the best forehand uh, players in the game. Definitely. Oh, almost put that one in. Sarah looking to put in for a birdie as well. Really taking her time. Mm. Mm. Close. Sarah's tapping in for her par four. Three birdies, I'm sorry. Uh, moving on to hole number three. 400. Definitely no shame in a drive like that. Legacy Disc sponsored Sarah Holcomb once again. Going with a forehand. Hoping that'll turn over. Oh, hits a tree and sits down at the top of the first hill. Basket's on the left side there. Uh, she's wanting to go down over that next hill, and the basket is uh, setting up on top of an yet another hill. You can see it there. In the it's going to be an awkward putt, as you can see the sun blaring right on Sarah Holcomb's face there. Jump putt. Mm. Or looking uphill at the putt, or if you're kind of parallel to the basket, then uh, mm -hmm. he was walking around with us in this card, as well as Nate Doss. Upshot, and hopefully she can get a birdie three out of that. Now Sarah looks like she's lining up with a forehand. Wanting to flip up and turn over some. And it's working out perfectly. A little bit of flex. She's a little bit on the... But she still will be looking at a pup for a birdie. Sarah with another flick. And that's a great shot wow. right there. Sarah for her birdie. Can't quite make it happen. Definitely a great three to walk away with. Hopefully Sarah can pick uh, Valerie Jenkins sitting at three down after those first three uh, birdies. She also has a putt there. Sarah going with a forehand. This is more of a traditional throw on this hole. Forehand sets up nicely and that is tracking towards the pin. And that went a little bit. It's going to be hard to swallow that four after uh, some of the long drives that she's had on this course so far. Sarah looking to can of birdie here. Ah, 
She was really excited to make a putt. She was struggling. She was. You can hear her calling. No chains needed. Yeah. She's right in the gate. One down while Val is still sitting at three down for this round. <clears throat> Moving on to hole number six, 747 feet, par five. This is a beast of a hole. Plays down the hill to the left. You can see where she landed there. That fell down there. Here's the, uh, I would say, second fairway there that you want to throw up the hill there. After you get to the top of the hill, it goes into the woods, a clearing down through there about uh, maybe a hundred more feet down through there. So from Vanessa there. Sarah looks like she's probably going with a hyzer flip forehand. Didn't quite mm -hmm. flip up like she was. A little bit of tree love on that one that shot her down right in the middle of the fairway. Sarah with a nice forehand hyzer. A good putt from Jessica. Let's see what Sarah can do. Opting for the straddle putt here. Absolutely no. Unfortunately, with a seven, a couple of sixes, and only one par on that hole. Moving on to hole number seven, 439 feet. You want to make it out this fairway and trail off to the right. Uh, the basket's sitting right in front of a really big drop off. You can see she was looking at it there. Sarah also with a, a, a lot of distance on her drive, a great drive. Unfortunately, a little. <laughs> Thankfully, that one sat down. Also, uh, Sarah on this side over here, it, it's also still a very aggressive play to go for it because you could still hit and take an edge and roll. But go. she does not have to worry about that because she can that shot. That was such a great putt right there. That one actually could definitely be argued as being a par four. Moving on to hole number eight, 339 feet. This one is a par four. Small, small gap, and it is almost shaped like a U. You want to go straight down the fairway and then go right and hard up the hill. Definitely one of the more interesting shaped holes on the course. You can see the basket up there. Sarah can get up and down here. She's also going to be looking at a birdie three. It's a great drive for this hole. And that's a great upshot. She's good. And Sarah, if she can make this one, and she does, she cards a birdie as well. That's a couple. Hokum is two down for the round. Starting out on hole number nine here, or sorry, finishing up on hole number nine. <laughs> uh, 479 feet. Very surprised to see Sarah going with a forehand here. Uh, the hole plays uphill and to the left. But she has got a lot of power on that one and it is just going straight for days. That is an outstanding shot right yeah, there. Yeah, really good. Definitely had to show both camera angles on this one just so you could see how straight that went for so long. That is an absolute crush up that hill. Doesn't look that hard on video, but I can almost put that one in the basket. Another Whoa. great shot. These ladies are making this course look so beautiful. Birdie from Sarah right there. That is a really out on hole number ten of this back nine. Uh, it's a uh, par four, 601 feet. Uh, this is a long, long hole here uh, over the valley, uh, over, over the top of the hill, another valley, and the basket is up on a hill. As you can see, we got legacy sponsored Sarah Holcomb teeing off here. Well, she shouldn't have too much left. Sarah looks to be going with a forehand. 
Definitely the strongest point of her game, in my opinion. Hanging it out wide, trying to get around that. Looks like she hit it there. Looks like she'll be up and down for a four. Sarah Putton for a birdie three right here. see what she can do she had a little bit of struggles on the front nine but was able to catch a few real good putts mm. Mm, almost. a little high if I walk away with a three on this hole <laughs> I've got a smile on my face that's for sure <laughs> Sarah's in for her four one down and the other two ladies are sitting at even Moving on to hole number, that's a pretty good drive. She's got maybe about 60 feet to the pin. Sarah going with a forehand as well. She's gonna want this to hazard this one for on the left side, get it to flex back. Sits down right beside Ben, or she's gonna have a little bit of an awkward stance there, but she should have no problem getting up and down. Sarah seems to be laying this one up, but goes a little bit too far down the hill. She's not quite. As you can see, Sarah ended up at the bottom of the hill. She's got an uphill putt from what looks to be about 40 feet with the low ceiling. This is going to be a tough run. Mm. Mm. Very close. Some of these ladies are potentially losing two strokes on them. We're going to be moving on to hole number 12. Also a par four at 490 the edge of the little, it's like a little valley right through there. Sarah with a very nice forehand. She can get it to come back a little. A little bit of skip center on that tree. She also ended up down there where Valerie is. Jessica, I'm sorry, Sarah with a turnover forehand as well. That's a great shot. She's got a putt for hopefully a birdie. And I was like, what? <laughs> that was a really good putt. Very good. Excellent par save. Sarah, hopefully she can can this right here and get a birdie three. She's got a very interesting putt. She throws it up high and lets it drop right down into the basket, wow. just like that. Very good putt. Excellent birdie right there. Fours. There's no shame in a four on that one, especially when you get down into that little area where those ladies were. Moving on to hole 13. Uh, this is one of the oddest shaped holes on the course. It's basically like uh, a backward C, I guess you would say. Sarah going with a forehand roller, very high, and it got a lot of bounce, and she has put a per Looks like Sarah's forced to go with another roller. Hmm. Didn't really get a, any turn on that. Yeah. Absolutely. Sarah with a stack of Neapolitan there, it looks like. <laughs> uh, one pink, one white, and one brown. Looks like uh, she's going for some sort of color scheme there. <laughs> she's got a lot of stuff in her way. A lot of trees, not to mention the stuff directly that she's standing directly in. Set right down. As you can see, another basket perched on a hill. Another potential for roll away. There's a lot of that on this course. So... Uh, you definitely want to throw something that's going to sit down. And a great putt from Sarah there. Really happy to see her uh, on that hole. Moving on to hole number 14. It's 385 feet. Perched right up on top. She's got a putt for a two. Sarah going with a forehand. Definitely going to want this to turn over. And it does... And that is looking outstanding. Oh, she hit the side of the hill 
awkward to some. Maybe not that hard for her because she does put with Anheuser. See what Sarah can do with this uphill putt. Oh, oh. Thought that one was in. The tapping in for a three. Sarah doing the same. These ladies cracked me up here. Sarah was jokingly asked uh, Jessica to. <laughs> Moving on to hole number 15. Throwing a great shot there. Sarah uh, maybe going with the uh, backhand left hand? I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see her lining up that forehand, I think backhand left hand. Turned that one over a little bit more than she wanted. Actually, that long time she had that tree. <laughs> she does have a putt there. Hopefully she can make that one and walk away with a birdie, which is an excellent birdie on this hole if she can make that. Sarah going forehand as well. A little bit early. And honestly, we look up to the work he does. Yeah. Sarah looking to go. Hopefully she can get a three here. Oh, she did do a jump. Slowly boosted uh, your confidence quite a bit. Definitely. A great course to have in our area. We're going to move on to hole number 16 for a two. That's exactly how you want to play this hole. Sarah going with a forehand roller. Oh. Mm, get caught up. Another forehand roller from Sarah. This is the hole that Tim Barr said that leaves you sweating at night. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's so short, it gets in your head, you're like, oh, I have to get it. Now, and uh, letting me do the uh, course previews. It was an honor to work with you all on that. As Tim said, this hole. You're getting out here throwing these long shots. Oh, what a great putt right there. Off the top of the band. On that hole. Definitely expecting to see more twos on that hole than we did, but that is no easy task right there. No. Sarah opting for the forehand. Looks, looks to be turning over to the left. Hit it kicked over into the left side. There's a lot of thick brush over there. Sarah on one knee with a forehand. Turn it over beautifully. It's a Get great shot. That. that was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Sarah looking for a soft flick here. She don't want to throw it too hard because it's going downhill, but she caught, caught up a little bit early. This hole not playing out how Vanessa wanted after that birdie two. Oh. Mm, so close. Mm -hmm. I think that one uh, can be chalked up to the little bit of movement in the background there. Yeah, we had a bit of a... Moving on to hole 18, the final hole of this round. Really didn't quite make it over the top of that little hill. Sarah making the correction with a the forehand. There's just a more understable disc. Or maybe she just put a little bit too much arm on it. <laughs> she does have a big arm, very... It's, I was very surprised at the distance that they, these ladies were getting. Not that I didn't think they could, but the distance, you see it in person, it's really amazing how far she's got up and down there, and she'll definitely be carding her par, hopefully. Sarah a little bit wide on that flick, but she has a putt. what Sarah can do with this putt. Mm. Mm. 
high and off the top of the band. She's got to come back her hair. Should be no problems. Definitely not. Ooh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.